Tesla's latest move could make electric car batteries cheaper than ever. Tesla wants to reach a mass market with its electric vehicles and a new investment could help them to do exactly that. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel and give us thumbs up, like this video, sharing in social media if you find the information helpful. So the inverse.com has some details about Tesla's latest move about electric vehicle batteries and Tesla's new investment in Dalhousie University. Tesla may be about to make electric car batteries even cheaper. On Thursday, Dalehouse University announced that the electric car company had given $3.1 million to help advance battery development. I mean, electric car battery development, meaning Tesla battery development. The funded project aims to give batteries lower prices, greater energy density, longer lifetime, higher safety, and more sustainable materials. The team is particularly focused on batteries used in electric vehicles and energy storage. The money is in good hands. One of the researchers, Jeff Dunn, is widely regarded as a pioneer in the field, in the field of electric battery, electric car batteries, who helped develop the original lithium ion battery. Um, if you want to know uh, more about um, Tesla's plan for the future of battery uh, batteries, look into the details of this research. Now, it's a strong move in Tesla's goal to reach an increasingly broader market with its electric vehicles. CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, outlined in the company's first master plan in 2006 how he intended to start off with a supercar, the 2008 Roadster at $98,000. So uh, he intended to start off with a supercar, use the money to build a cheaper car, the 2012 Model S at $57,400, and use that money to build an even cheaper car, the Model 3, available at $35,000 in 2019. Since this sentence was a little longer, let me shorten it. Elon Musk outlined in the company's first master plan in 2006 how he intended to start off with a supercar, use the money to build a cheaper car, and use that money to build an even cheaper car. But the cost of the battery is a big hurdle in bringing down electric vehicle or Tesla prices. Bloomberg NEF claims that in 2010, a lithium ion battery pack cost $1,100 per kilowatt hours. This declined to a market average of just $137 by 2020. In 10 years, it declined close to 70%. It's a welcome decline, but it means a 100 kilowatt hour battery would cost $13,700. That means the cost of the battery makes up a significant portion of the overall costs, which means reduction could dramatically change the costs around of electric cars. So, why is Tesla research project so important? In short, Tesla has given $3.1 million to a legendary battery researcher in order to help to bring down these prices. Tesla has maintained a long standing relationship with Don and signed a five year research agreement with him in 2016. The exclusive partnership was renewed in January 2021 for a second five-year term. Remember that I said in the beginning that this research means Tesla batteries, not batteries in general, because it looks like Tesla's partnership with Don is an exclusive partnership. Don has received huge praise for his research. Jordan Gesick host of Battery Focused YouTube channel, The Limiting Factor, told Inverse in September 2020 that Don work is such a massive improvement that it might land him a Nobel Prize at some point. 
the researcher received that the Gerhard Herzberg Canada Gold Medal for Science and Engineering in 2017 and the Order of Canada in 2020. The trio has also received 2.9 billion, uh, I'm sorry, 2.9 million dollars from the Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council. This makes it the largest alliance grant the university has ever received from the council. Tesla wrote in a statement about the funding the following. Here's a quote. We are thrilled for our work with Dalhouse, uh, the Jeff Dunn, uh, Chong Young, and Michael Metzke. This is the trio. We are excited and look forward to their important contributions in battery technology to help achieve our mission, Tesla wrote in a statement. Now, what else is Tesla doing in this area, in the area of battery research? In September 2020, Elon Musk presented a battery day event with, uh, where he detailed Tesla's plans to produce its own batteries. The firm currently relies solely on manufacturing partners like Panasonic. You see, Tesla is working when it comes to batteries. Tesla is working in three directions. One, the Dalhousie University with Jeff Dunn's team. But the, the Tesla is building its own batteries, 4680 batteries presented at 2020 September Battery Day event. And also, uh, buying batteries from Panasonic, from LG Chem, LG Energy, and Cattle, and SK Innovations. But you know, buying uh, batteries from Panasonic, it's it being those are produced in Tesla's own you know, first Gigafactory in um, Arizona. Tesla's batteries will measure 46 by 80 millimeters. This is why it's called 4680 batteries, because they measure 46 by 80 millimeters. A new dry electrode process will reduce the energy used in production tenfold. One production line will be able to make seven times the amount of battery capacity as before. Other advancements include replacing cobalt with nickel in high-end vehicles. Overall, these advancements will lead to a 54% increase in battery range between charges and a 56% reduction in price per kilowatt hour. Musk wrote in December 2020 that the under construction Berlin factory, Giga Berlin, would use the new battery cells, the 46 by 80 millimeter battery cells. Um, in the company's first quarter 2021 earnings call in April, Elon Musk said the firm was probably not more than 18 months away from volume production of the new cells. Perhaps, Tesla's most exciting announcement on battery day teased how Dan's team will advance electric cars even further, plans to make a compelling electric vehicle with a starting price of just $25,000. Well, friends, let me know what you think about Tesla's investment in Dale House University and Jeff Dunn's team and what we can expect from Tesla batteries or battery research in general in the next two, three years. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel. Like this video if you found the information helpful. God bless you, everyone, and I'll see you soon in our next report. Have a great day.